Hi guys, welcome to your reading today. For those that do not know me, I am Tabitha and I will be your spiritual advisor for this session. Leos, thank you so much for patiently waiting. Um, so let's get into it. This is going to be a reading for the zodiac sign Leo. It's for the month of September. Um, it could carry a little bit into October. Okay, so source picked for you, Leo, my favorite stone. This is emerald. So this is a stone of partnership. I actually joke that like I don't want an engagement ring or like a wedding band, just give me an emerald because this to me is the true definition of like what partnership should be. So it's a stone of loyalty. Uh, it provides domestic bliss in a relationship. It enhances unconditional love. It brings unity and promotes friendship. It keeps partnerships balanced. Uh, it stimulates the heart chakras. Even your physical heart, if you were having um, like heartache. And this stone can change color if somebody is unfaithful. So it is a really cool stone that is emerald. It's funny. So I was like, oh, this is a very interesting stone for them to pick. And I can see now why. <laughs> so let's get into your reading. So at the beginning of the month, guys, which is today, um, I see that things are coming to an end, okay? There has, whatever was in the past, it's, it's over, it's done, it's dead, this is a 10, it's complete. And you now have a passionate new beginning, okay? Full of fire and ambition, they're saying. Here you have reaping what you sow or waiting for what you've planted. So I know that you have planted seeds and I do see them starting to come to fruition. You have success here in your first week. So victory, success, public recognition for job well done. You also have fertility and abundance right after that. You have the empress. So I am strongly hearing that what you have put all your time and effort and resources into is going to pay off. The second week of September, you got a message of love coming. So somebody, I think somebody's watching you, Leo. Uh, just keep in mind that there's male and female energies. So uh, in this particular reading, we do have a king of wands and a queen of wands. So I'm going to refer to them as he and she, but just know that you can resonate with either or. Okay. And just because, like, it's a queen, it doesn't mean that if you're a male, this doesn't make sense or vice versa. So I see that you get a message of love coming through. You're being watched, I think, by a fellow fire sign. So this could be Leo, Sag, Aries. But I strongly feel that you're going to be getting a message of love. Um from a fire sign. So for some of you though, they are saying that you are being watched at work. It could potentially be your, your boss or whoever's watching you could also be a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. It can also be someone who's just charismatic, outgoing, charming, generous, kind of the life of the party. That is what the Queen of Wands does embody. So if it is not a fire sign, uh, just keep in mind it is someone who is charismatic that has their eye on you, Leo. Uh, there is a little bit of entrapment, um, but just know this is self-inflicted. And you will be feeling this towards the end of the second week of September. And it is going to require your strength and taming the beast within. So I feel I am picking up on a little bit of heartbreak. It's not in the spread, but perhaps um, you guys went through some heartbreak. So this message as like awesome and wonderful as it may be, it may um, cause some infliction, some self-infliction and, and some last minute he healing I'm hearing. Come the third week, you are feeling a little bit detached from the situation. If there is anything that's not serving you, I am hearing that you'll be cutting it out. 
uh, this ties into your strength and the self imprisonment. So I am strongly hearing like detachment. So the third week, of September, you may be starting the week feeling a little detached. I also see that you'll be juggling and prioritizing. You got a lot going on and you're trying to balance it all. I am feeling a little stressed saying that. Yeah, they're saying take a deep breath. Um, you will get through it. Just kind of keep, <laughs> keep the pentacles going. Also, too, they are saying to just go with the flow. Don't try to so fight it so much. Come third week, just go with the flow. The energy is really intense this month, I think. Uh, communication. Uh, the third week of September, you may get some incoming communication, some hot, fast communication. It is going to bring clarity and celebration. It's actually this way. So you're going to be receiving some clarity and I see a fresh start coming because of it. And I see celebration and good times. So, and it's with friends. Like it, it could even just be, um, I am hearing collaborating. So maybe you get some news and you're able to collaborate because if you are not with anyone and nobody's coming into your life, then you can definitely expect Leo that within work, you're going to be, um, combining your knowledge because you have the three the three of cups here and I won't get to it just yet but you'll see so the last week of September you have the king of wands here okay so he is sitting on his throne this is someone who is charismatic charming outgoing generous uh life of the party I am hearing possibly business owner. Yeah, this person has like a, a, a thirst and a passion for knowledge. I feel like this is coming in. Yeah, see how the, the back... Okay, so... If you were to, I'm going to show it to you this way because it will make more sense to you, but the King of Wands is like, wasn't facing this Page of Swords. So it's almost like the back is turned and somebody is like ready to come in with all this passion and knowledge. And I almost feel like, I want to say you get like an, an apprentice, something like that. Um, nevertheless, I do see that, um, come the third week, you are just, or sorry, come the last week of September, you are deciding to walk away from something, okay? But they're telling me this is you walking away, and I'll show you in a second what you're walking to. I also am hearing that illumination has happened. So I strongly pick up that this is you, Leo, walking away because we have the sun and it's overshadowing the moon now. So what you are walking towards at the end of September is a partnership. Um, this is... This is a partnership. I'll just say that. So I do see, like I said, if you're not dating on anyone and no love comes into your life, then you can definitely um, expect celebration and like collaboration and partnership within your like business and worth. But this, this, uh, I have a feeling that your partner is going to be quite fiery. They can possibly be um, a younger fire sign. I'm strongly picking up on that. Uh, they are telling me that this is the other person. They, um, they're quick, right? So just keep that in mind. Sometimes they might want to get things going really fast, but uh, this is definitely like a mover and a shaker and they're going to get things going. I, there's lots of fire towards the end of the month. A lot of fire. So something that's kind of hidden for this month is um, a court match. You had uh, the King of Cups followed by the Queen of Cups. 
And um, what covers them is your resources finally coming in and the world. Contentment, completion. So Leo, just know that help is on the way. You have um, partnerships coming. You have collaboration. Things are paying off. You're going to be getting some clarity. Okay, what do we got going on for Leos in love? I feel like we just did that. Okay. You're saying this is a time to trust, okay? The situation is calling for you to have faith, Leo. It is safe for you to love again. Open your heart to giving and receiving the highest love. Wedding. This situation involves marriage. I think that, I think this is the one, Leo. I think that you're about to meet the meet your one. What else can we tell Leo's? Um, this is a time to forgive and release. Uh, you've learned a lot up until this point, and um, to release and heal heals the past, and it helps you experience more love in the present moment. Yeah, I'm picking up on that heartache again. I almost feel like you guys were really stabbed in the back. Like, I don't, it might not have just been a relationship. Like, I feel like it might have been, like, just everything. Like, maybe everything came down, crashing down. Uh, religious factors could be affecting some of your relationships, um, especially if you are really spiritual and people don't quite understand that. Um, you could even, like, possibly with family members, like, they could be butting heads with you because they're not understanding um, your spiritual path, and it may be different from your upbringing. But that's just for a few, just for a few... Um, there. Uh, getting to know each other as you reveal your authentic self to each other, your bond deepens. Okay. Anything else for Leo? Very soon. Decide what you want because it's coming. You need to be clear and concise with your orders to the universe. If you have any codependencies, this is a time to let them go. Addictions could be affecting your romantic life. So if you are, you know, attached to something or dependent on something or have an addiction, it could be blocking, um, you know, authentic love or an authentic partner coming through. Call forth your soulmate. So if you want your soulmate to come to you, um, you can ask Archangel Raphael to come in. He helps facilitating bringing soulmates together. You can visualize. You can uh, do affirmations, prayers. Sorry, they, I just picked up on... Yeah, healing is the best work, in all honesty. Let your friends help you. This includes the ones in the spiritual realm. If you need help, just ask for it. Just call on your angels. Call on your ascended masters. Call God. And this could be the one. You have already met the romantic partner that you see. Yeah, I definitely feel the second week that's coming in, guys. You have partnership here. Your stone was emerald. I, like, never... A source never gives me that stone to pick for people. So, take it. <laughs> okay, what do we got for advice from the angels? And then I'm going to close out this session. Life is too short. Focus on what you can achieve and not what you haven't. Ooh, critical, critical. Virgo. Virgo season. Well, we're in Virgo season, but it's actually more like what's happening planetary-wise. Uh, sorry, they're just saying 
you know, people are really in their heads at this time. So don't be overcritical of yourself, Leo. Focus more on those accomplishments that you do have and not what you haven't. A wise casting director once told me that if your focus was, I'm only going to make it when I can, I know I've made it when I drive this expensive car. To me, that's, that's my point where I achieved and, and became success. And, you know, 10 years down the road, you live in this beautiful beach house, you can pay your bills from the job that you do, but you don't have that car and you make yourself think that you are unsuccessful because you didn't achieve the one thing that you set out, but you have all these other amazing accomplishments. Trust in the divine. Sometimes there's a reason and it's just a material aspect as well. Okay, trust in your intuition more. You do have the inner sight. Take time for yourself. Refuel, refuel there, Leo. Fill that own cup. Don't give too much. I mean, it's a time to give to others. So I see some Leos really overgiving because of your nature. So I want you to just make sure you're setting boundaries this month and that you're filling your own inner, inner cup as well. Focus on your dreams. Allow the power of manifesting to start within you now. Okay, one more for Leo here, then I'm going to close out. You are in control of your own destiny. Well, thank you so much, Leo, for letting me tap into your energy. It is always a pleasure. I am sending you lots of love and light this month, and I hope the partnership works out for you. Love you. Bye.